spend five thousand dollars for that, it's cut their budget another hundred million. Precisely, Mr. President. Uh, the last word that they had for me yesterday after my talk to Pierre was to keep the photographers yeah. out of there okay. and fight them out of there. Okay. They went ahead on their own. The funny part about this is that it's a sidelight which might lighten your day is that the Army, you know, whom we saved from this sort of thing out Walter Reed, when they saw this yesterday, they're unhappy, if you please. <laughs> Well, they, I mean, they, so that's why the goddamn service, they ought to cut them a billion dollars. That's right, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you think of what the waste goes on. It I mean, is, absolute nonsense. Imagine nice. what they do if you didn't just stay in their ass. They're going to order me three planes instead of one. Precisely. They're going to do all these, I mean, they, that's the way they, these guys spend money. I mean, oh, absolutely. They shocked if we don't. Now, the only thing is, it would seem to me, I'd like to turn that, I'd like to send that furniture back. Have they paid for it? I, I'll find out, Mr. Just on my own. I don't care. We own a store, but I just like to send that goddamn furniture back. It's probably worth about two, fifteen hundred, two thousand bucks. When I asked him yesterday, where did the five thousand dollars go yeah. from the things they told me? I said, well, you couldn't have possibly spent five thousand on that. They've lied about it. Now I've gone back to them this morning and said, get the facts. And I'm sick of let's being the, yeah. telling the president of the White House the wrong facts. So let's get the facts to begin with. Let's find out how much they spent on this thing. Uh, I mean, let's find out what they spent, where the money came from. Well, also, run down where, if the bills have been paid, because a lot of the stuff we can just ship right back today. Right. I'll get right I'd love to send it right back to Jordan Marsh in an Air Force truck this afternoon with that captain on it. <laughs> now, what about transferring his ass out of here in about a month? He uh, doesn't have any sense. I had the Carlson. For incompetence, not for screwing us. Exactly. Well, and that silly fellow who had his picture taken next to the bed, I'd uh, have him go up to Alaska, too. The PA will be talking to you about that. Right. Okay. okay. By the bed? Yes, sir. Are they, and you see that gun furniture they bought from Jordan Marsh? What the hell did they let the reporters in there for? Are they crazy up there? Now you know what's going to do. Any congressman's going to get up and say, Christ, if they can throw $5,000 away on this, let's cut them another billion dollars. You just sank the Air Force budget. You're crazy up there. Are they crazy? That silly bastard with his picture next to the bed? Sir, I'm uh, appalled, but... Uh... Well, I'm appalled, too. Now, the thing is, I, the thing of the matter is, I'm going to get that furniture. I just told Sylvester, and you can talk to him. I want to find out if we pay for that furniture, because I want it to go back to George Marshall. All right, sir. Then I want that fellow's incompetent who had his picture taken next to Mrs. Kennedy's bed, if that's what it is. I mean, he's a silly bastard. I wouldn't have him running a cat house. And that uh, Colonel Carlson, who let in Larry Newman and those reporters, is he crazy, too? Christ, they're not all incompetent. Is that the way they're throwing money around over there? You better look into it, and especially when you told me that they hadn't spent a cent. Well, sir, this is uh, obviously. Uh, well, this is obviously a fuck up. That's okay. Right. That's right. Right. right.